This is a quick way of creating realistic skin texture that would typically take a longer time to do if you were to recreate it using only a colored pencil. You're still using colored pencil, however, I'm going to be showing you how I use this tool in order to achieve this particular look. So the first step is the most important, especially if you're working with oil-based colored pencils like Faber-Castell Polychromos. The type of paper you're using shouldn't matter because it works both on very smooth surfaces and on rougher vellum paper, which is what I'm using right now. So what you want to do is place down several layers of wax-based pencil, like Prismacolor or Caran d'Ache Luminance, something that's more creamy, buttery, and smooth. This wouldn't work if you were to use polychromos or oil base. You just have to layer down the wax base pencil first. So typically I would use a light colored pencil or white since the texture and the lighting is going to be much lighter than the skin tone. So make sure to layer down a couple of layers, but don't push on the paper too hard since we're going to be coloring on top of these lighter colors later on. So just keep a steady and low pressure so after I get about four to five layers down of the lighter color, now I can add on the colors of the actual skin tone that I'm trying to achieve. And this is using an oil-based colored pencil like my Polychromos. And because I was using such a light pressure before at the beginning, I don't have any trouble layering down and matching the skin tone with the rest. The third and final step is to use an X-Acto knife and start scraping the pigment of the skin tone off to reveal the white underneath again. And since we had layered the light colors before, it created like a protective smooth layer on top of the paper, making it easier to scrape off the color so you also don't end up ripping the paper. The more of the lighter layers underneath, the smoother and easier it is to scrape off. However, you do have to try to balance the amount of layers since if you layer too much of the lighter colors, the wax base, you might not be able to get the depth or darkness of the skin tone that you want to place on top. So you just need to try it out yourself and see how many wax base color pencil you can place on first before you place on the oil base colored pencil.
So that is it for this quick tip of how to achieve this realistic skin texture without having to draw it on yourself. You're just simply scraping it off and creating these shapes as you go along, trying to mimic the lines that appear on the skin and the sort of like the cracks and creases. So that is much easier than having to literally draw on the line yourself. I'll be back with more tutorials and techniques as I go along for my future portraits.